Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Crypto Insight UK here, bringing you back another YouTube video. So today we're gonna to have a quick look at the markets. We're gonna talk about what's been going on. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet because to be honest, anything can change in 24 hours at the minute. Oh, excuse me. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, put that notification bell on so you know when I make a new video. Um, and share it with a friend, obviously, if you enjoy. Free way to help me out. Um, and yeah, I do appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone who's been tuning into my videos recently on all platforms. So just scrolling down the right hand side of my screen here, as you can see, some big percentage increases in a, a variety of different cryptos. Uh, but a lot of them have been smashed recently as well. Um, the main areas for interest are the metaverse tokens. If we look down here, we've got Mana up 44%, Blocktopia up 50%, 30% for Sandbox, 29% for Red Fox. Um, 16 for Epic, they're obviously huge gains. Uh, KDA seeing a 50%, Wazir X at 48% up. So yeah, they're on my watch list. They're the cryptos that are really on there. Obviously XRP, nice 17% push as well. So what are we looking at then? Bitcoin um, <clears throat> obviously broke the key area of support with 20, 28,800, I think it was. 28,9, 28,8-ish. Uh, wicked all the way down to 26.9 on the Binance chart, which is different actually on the Coinbase chart, which I'm just going to bring up right now because it is a bit more interesting on the Coinbase chart if I can find that. Um, if we look at the Coinbase chart, oh, this is my Elliott wave, so let me just get rid of all these, sorry. Uh, I didn't realise these were still on here, I thought we just had a plain chart here, so let me just get rid of them. Oh, that's my moving average, see you later, moving average. Um, but yeah, this is my... Coinbase Binance chart and as you can see we wicked down to the 200 day moving average and why is that important? Well because in the previous two bear markets it's not got the information for the one before this but in the previous two bear markets it did spell the bottom when we touched the 200. Whether that means it's going to be the bottom now I don't know. The volume came in that's come through is pretty high. Uh, it's the highest we've seen since back in May or the first capitulation of last year when we had that huge candle. So how am I playing the market? Um, we'll get into that in one second. But we just also want to remember that the macro picture uh, of, of economics in general is still the same. So if we look at, um, Insta this is on Instagram, Market Hustle, uh, they've, they've shown uh, a variety of stocks that are down up to 92%. So we've got Nvidia and Facebook obviously down 50%, down to like Fiverr, uh, Coinbase 90% down, and obviously a big mixture in between. Uh, with Wix, Roblox, those sorts of things, Netflix, PayPal, down hugely from their top. So it's it's been a bloodbath, not just in crypto is what I'm trying to say. This is the fear and greed index of the stock market. We're at six out of 100 extreme fear. Last week it was 16, a month ago it was 43, and a year ago at 34. And if we look at Bitcoin's fear and greed index, today we're at 10. This is one of the lowest values I've seen in a long long time it is really yesterday's value so today's sentiment will be updated tomorrow presume it will bump it up a little bit having a bit of a relief rally today so that's basically what we're looking at are we looking at a relief rally or do we think the bottom has come in so let's have a little look at what we would be looking for i would like to clear this price range here the 32,000 uh for for clear structure uh clear structure break and a reversal um, at least a, a um, reprieval push or, or a reversal pump, like a smaller pump, um, can be confirmed if we if we clear this area. But again, we're still flirting with a lot of resistance here, guys. There's there's loads above us. We've seen an XRP a 17% push today from the lows. We wicked all the way down to 33 cent. Bit frustrating because I put some. Uh, buy orders in at 35 um, after we saw this rally. This was actually in the middle of the night, but it was like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. UK time. Uh, when I woke up, put some buy orders in at 35. I put some more in at 30. Um, do we get down to those levels? I don't know. I'm not chasing this pump. I'm leaving my buy orders on. Oftentimes, you have a relief rally like this, and you can continue to capitulate. Or, guys, we could literally go on and push higher. The reason I say that we could do that is because... Luna is now no longer trading. Um, I'm really sorry to anybody who held Luna. It's, it's an awful thing to happen. I'm not going to talk about anything to do with that because right right now it's ribbon salt in the wounds. We'll talk about other things in the future. But 
Um, this could be a relief rally and we could see further downside, guys. For XRP, I would really like to start reclaiming these levels up here, to be completely frank with you. Once we reclaim, like, a dollar, obviously we're back up to um, more bullish times. But by the time we've reclaimed that, we're already up, like, 100% from where we are now. So, I don't know, guys. Basically, prep for both directions is, is what I'm trying to say. And I know that's not really very helpful for anybody. But if you've got cash on the side, put some low buy orders in. Then if we see capitulation, you're keeping yourself covered. You've already probably got a bag of crypto. I definitely wouldn't be selling now, in my personal opinion, not financial advice. Um, the last thing I'd be doing is selling. Even yesterday, the day before, I always say this. If you're selling here, what's your risk to reward? Where are you going to go? Like Even if XRP comes down to like 20 odd cent, that's like... 50% decrease and the reward side of it as we know Fibonacci retracements and extensions We're looking still at $13. I'll show you that right now We'll draw a fib, uh, fib retracement in to give you guys an idea of why I see what I see there um, We'll just quickly bang one in That's a Fibonacci retracement here. It's gonna accurate bang and it takes us out to the 1360 issue or 1387 so that's still on the cards, guys. We've seen almost 4.236 extensions for both Ethereum and Bitcoin. Look, if we draw on, I'll draw one on ETH now to show you. Um, just to give you an idea where ETH got to and where Bitcoin got to. Bang, ETH got all the way up to the 4.618 or 3.618 up at $4,900. Couldn't break the $5,000 mark. If on XRP we hit the 4.6 or the 3.618, let's see where that would take us out to. Um, let's have a little look. It would take us all the way up here to 11.97. So it's still on the cards for me, guys. It's always been my cycle high. So maybe we haven't seen the end of this cycle. People are calling for low numbers in Bitcoin around the 20, um, the 20,000, like 19,000, all the way down to 15,000. I've seen. I don't want to say whether they're going to be right or wrong right now. Anything could happen in this market. We've got so much going on in a macro sense. The dollar is still super strong. The dollar has set a 20-year high right now. This is something I talked about on the weekly RSI. It's never been above 88. Right now, we're at 81. So I did say, if you've been watching the weekly roundup, that we could have had an extra 10% push from where we were at 80s, which was here. And a 10% push would take us up in and around this area here. Um, so I'd be targeting the 109 sort of area for the DXY reversal if we do get one. Um, but again, let's see what happens there, guys. The euro is really at like a crucial support zone here from 2017. It hasn't been lower than that since 2003. So this gives you an idea of what's happening in the market right now, guys. One other thing we need to take into consideration in this crypto market is that we have never had a... Uh, recession while crypto has been around um, crypto came out the back of the 2008 housing market crash um, actually I think I tell a lie I think in maybe like 2011 we might have had a recession I'm not sure um, but out the back of that crypto was born 2008 uh, Bitcoin was released in 2011 um, we haven't seen issues in the market in the general market like this since um, crypto's inception how will it react we don't know. There's no evidence to show us either way. There's no history. So that's why I say be cautious. That's why I've got my buy orders still in at low levels because of the wider markets in general. Although we've seen huge corrections in those stock markets, I don't know what happens next. I've got my huge bags of crypto. I'm sitting on them, not changing that. And if we come lower, I'm buying. I'm a bull long term, a bull medium term. Um, and short term, let's see what happens. Could we get a V bottom recovery? Could it be something similar to the March the March 2020 crash? Bang like that, and out we go. In a few weeks' time, we're back up to levels uh, like up here or up here, 40, 46,000. I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. Um, and I'm sorry this hasn't been too informative in that sense, but I'm just showing you all sides of the spectrum and why you need to be cautious right now and why a lot of people in the crypto space specifically I don't think take everything into consideration, which I think you should be doing. If you're looking at um, any sort of market, you need to see what affects that market on a broader scale. Uh, and right now, there's a lot of conflicting information out there. But with all that being said, guys, obviously, sorry, I was finished with inflation. Inflation is still um, at 8.3% in America. Um, it was expected at 81 
came in at 8.3. It was at 8.5 last month. The market's still trying to price in whether it thinks that's good or bad. Market opens in 30 minutes for America. So let's see what the stocks do today. If the stocks, stock market pumps today, we could see a further pump in crypto. If they dump, we could see these percentages decrease um, pretty fast. But as I said, let's see, guys. Have a great weekend. If anything mad happens, obviously I'll report on it. Keep me, uh, keep you followed. Uh, have a look at my Twitter at Crypto Insight UK, TikTok the same, and also on Instagram. I post often on there. I try and get one video, YouTube video out a day uh, in the week, and I'm more up to date on Twitter. I don't know why my words are taking a while to come out today. I think I had a bit of a migraine in my sleep last night. I had a bit of a headache and felt a bit sick this morning. But um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, stay safe out there. If you need any help with like where I've got my personal buy orders in for XRP, I've got some in for HBAR and XLM. I'll, I'll just tell you what I've got in actually right now. I've got 35 cent for XRP, 30 cent for XRP, HBAR 4.9 cent because I saw a wick down to there and XLM I think 10 cent, 10 and a half cent. But yeah, have a great weekend guys and I'll be in touch if anything mad happens. Peace up, A-Town Down, as I should say.